Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm back to do another episode of my Super League transfers, going over all the Super League uh, transfers that I know of, that I'm more familiar with. Um, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of the actual like, English-based players, more of the NRL players moving to the Super League, just some for me, and I'm not talking a lot of shit that I don't know about. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about Mark Minicello, uh, moving from the Titans to Hull. Now, my thoughts on this as a transfer, it seems like a pretty decent one. Uh, I'm not going to say it's like a top-notch one or anything, but could be just basically because I think Mark Minicello has, like, in terms of ability-wise, he's gone downhill a lot in the last few years. Um, sort of the first, the early days of the Titans, um, he was quite good. I thought he was pretty well, he was pretty good. But a recent time, when I see Mark Minicello, like, I don't really think of him as being, like, the awesome player. Um, he's sort of just there, and I think it's probably a good move from the Titans to get rid of him. Um, Hull, I mean, uh, says so a good sign of him. He's got experience. Um, he's played a few internationals for like Italy and stuff I think played some rep games maybe in city country but never got to the heights of his brother or anything but that like his brother was incredible so it's really hard to get there but um, yeah Mark Minicello I think he was overrated but underrated at the same time I think at stage he was he was underrated he was a lot better than what people thought he was and but at the same time people were like oh Minicello is a great player because of Anthony um, also because um, based on his reputation from the few years before, um, like I think the last few seasons he hasn't been good at all, but I think they can go for a lot of the Titans forwards, um, some of them had retired, some of them aren't there, whatever, um, yeah. Uh, in saying that, I do think he can go okay in Super League, I, I hate to say this after talking about Super League all the time, saying it's, you know, pretty good quality, but, um, I think he still has the ability to be a good player in Super League, I think, I think some Super League fans will be able to understand this, what I'm saying, like, against the leads and that sort of sides, like those top sides, maybe not the best player for them. But in terms for a team like Hull, good to, he's a good signing. Um, I mean, he could come out and play terrible, could, could come out and play play heaps good. At, I mean, just look at Royas Tarsi, I thought he would have went heaps good, but it turned out he went shit in the Super League. So, um, yeah, it's hard to make a judgment on these guys, especially as they're getting older each year, and you assume they're getting a bit worse each year. But, um, yeah, I think he'll be good enough to, to go quite well for Hull. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on the transfer as a whole, pretty good one, I think, depending on how much money that is, of course, that they're paying him, um, because I, he's, I don't think he's at the quality of Gareth Ellis, or he ever was, um, so you like to think Gareth Ellis is on way bigger contract than him, but I don't know, who knows, um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to leave the video, hopefully you have enjoyed it, hopefully you can leave a comment, um, talking about what are your thoughts on Minichello signing, um, and all that sort of stuff. Any suggestions on players I should do. Also, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Come back, watch my other videos. And, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.